Now that we've talked about factor methods and one of the transforming methods that appears in the mono class in Project Reactor, let's turn our attention to one of the action operators that's defined there. These action operators don't actually modify a mono, but instead are used to have some type of side effect. And the particular action operator we're going to talk about here is the do on success action operator. So the do on success operator is used to add a behavior that's triggered when the mono completes successfully. So as you can see here, do on success takes a parameter and that parameter is a consumer from the good old Java 8 consumer class. And this consumer is a functional interface and what it is going to be able to be used for is to pass in a parameter that will be called back when something completes successfully. And we'll see how the consumer works. There'll be a method that's invoked to cause it to accept the behavior when we're, when we're done, and that will have the ability to have some type of side effect. What happens with do on success is that it doesn't change the mono that's going to be returned. Instead, it's only gonna have a side effect. So the type and the value of the mono are not affected in any way, shape, or form when the do on success method is called. This method is primarily used for debugging or for logging if you have a chain of methods that appear with monos. So here's, here's a simple example, uh, somewhat along the lines of what we looked at before. Let's say that we're going to be using the from callable method, which is the factor method on the mono, to go ahead and create a reduced big fraction from an unreduced big fraction. And then what we're going to do is we're going to insert the do on success action operator after from callable. And what that's going to do is it's going to take the big fraction and it will go ahead and log that big fraction. So it'll go ahead and print it out. And when we take a look at the example, which is in the link at the bottom of the slide, you'll get a chance to see how this works. And if you want to run the example, you can see what the output is going to be. So it's just a way of kind of, in some sense, interposing or transparently uh, intercepting the value and then having the side effect of, in this case, logging it. Not surprisingly, RxJava has a do on success action operator as well, and it works exactly the same as the one with Project Reactor. One thing that is worth noting here is if something were to go wrong, let's say there was some kind of arithmetic error that occurred or an exception was thrown uh, when we did the from callable to reduce the big fraction. If that were to occur, then do on success would not be called. So as the name implies, this action, this consumer side effect that we've registered to be called back will not be invoked if something goes wrong and the mono does not in fact emit successfully. This is actually very similar to one of the Java completable future methods, which is called then accept. And then accept is typically used at the end of a chain of of uh, various types of, of uh, completion stage methods as they call them in completable futures. And as you can see, what we're doing here is we're going to reduce a big fraction, then we're going to convert it into a mixed string by calling then apply. And then the final thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use the then accept method to print the results to the standard output. So it's similar to uh, do on success. The main difference is that then accept is usually used only at the end of a chain of completion stage methods or dependent methods with completable futures, whereas do on success can be used anywhere you want in the chain of methods that are being called back. So that's the end of the overview of the action operator we're gonna cover for the mono class. There are other action operators as well, and they all work very much the same way. They're just called under different circumstances. This one is called, of course, once something completes successfully to give a chance to have a side effect invoked.